There's a lot of stuff that gets listed on Kickstarter or Indiegogo every week. Some of it good, some of it not so good. Luckily for you, we've trawled through the sites to bring the best Kickstarters of the month directly to you. If you're the kind of person that always sits there drumming on the desk with your fingers or incessantly tapping away at something, this is the glove for you. It's a glove, but a glove fitted with a MIDI controller. You can assign notes, chords or samples to each finger and then play them by hitting any nearby surface. But the fun doesn't stop there. There are sensors in the fingers that can tell how hard you're hitting a note or how long you're playing a sample. You can record and import any beats you make into any music software or you can process it through Remedy's own app. If you're out and about and you're suddenly hit by some musical inspiration, you can basically take a musical memo without looking like a total freak on the bus. The Kickstarter campaign starts sending out the gloves at £140 with £20 shipping. If you opt for the £265 option, you'll get a pair of the gloves, but if you wait for general sale, it's going to rocket to £400. Be warned. Some people are already getting bored of 3D printing. These little plastic figures with all their layers, that's not exciting anymore. This is the tech industry, and the industry needs at least a thousand new things a week to keep all you insatiable maniacs happy. Lucky for us then, some of the bright sparks over at Teflon 3D have engineered a way for you to 3D print porcelain using a resin called Porcelite. It mimics the properties of everyone's favourite toilet component and can even have implications in reconstructive bone surgery, just in case you need to know that. Donate £140 or more to the cause and you'll get a litre of this precious bone fluid, as well as these ready-to-print files. Ornamental, but still cool. Pledge high enough and you'll get a Skype workshop in 3D printing as well. We all want a butler. Maybe it's the inset British mindset of having someone to do everything for us while we sit alone playing Halo in our pants all afternoon. Or maybe it's a darker look at the human condition. But we all want a butler. And a personal bodyguard. And a friend. Well, the Z-Bot, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is a good enough fit for all three of those disturbing innate desires. It's a kitten on wheels that's built on an open source platform, meaning that you can teach it to do anything you like. Within reason, of course. This little robotic ally hit its funding goal in less than two days and raised $25,000 in under a week. You see, hundreds of people share our desire for a robotic placid robot slave, willing to guard our house and bring us food whenever we swipe our phones. Do you think this smart home stuff is going too far? Bass connected to your iPhone? Lights it dim when you leave the room? Smart fridges? Well, it looks like we've only seen the tip of the iceberg as far as that's concerned. Introducing the Smarty Pans. What a pun. The pan that tells you how to cook. Now, I hate backseat cookers, but this little fella seems to be a bit more handy than someone peeking over your shoulder and shouting, that's way too much soy sauce. It can track the nutritional value of your food in real time, tell you when to add ingredients, depending on temperature, and has weight sensors that sync up with any fitness goals you might have on your Fitbit or jawbone or whatever. It's a kitchen scale, cooking pan, oven dish, and serving bowl all in one. You can pick one up by Indiegogo for about 150 pounds. It'll head up to 200 pounds-ish soon, so pre-orders are advised. 512 LEDs sounds like too many LEDs, but it's not. It's the perfect amount to force into a little cube and then be made to dance for you. The Tittle Light's name is actually a bit misleading because it's got a lot of functions, from being a music visualiser and a good talking point at parties, to a clock, an ambient bit of mood lighting, to a vessel to channel 3D emojis. The Light's hit its $30,000 goal and did it pretty quickly, and you'll eventually be able to pick one up for about £200. If you hurry over to its Indiegogo page though, you'll be able to grab one at the pre-order price of £140. So there you have it, those are the best Kickstarters to back this month. Let us know what you think in the comments below. To get monthly updates of the best crowdfunding projects, don't forget to subscribe. And you can learn more about the latest tech launches in Gadget Magazine and at gadgetdaily.xyz.